Hey guys, it's Jim Halterman from TV Guide Magazine and TV Insider. I'm here with Megan Ori and Robert Buckley to talk about the new season of Chesapeake Shores. I've decided to go ahead with the build on one condition. I want you to ride point on the project. Do you like playing the role of eccentric millionaire? Billionaire. So obviously first we have to jump into the Abby part of the story because the season really starts out with her at this kind of heavy emotional place. Megan, can you just talk about what, what is she going through? Because everybody's asking her how she's doing. How is Abby doing at the start of the season? How is Abby doing? How is Abby doing? I don't know. How is she doing? <laughs> Abby's, uh, you know, she's actually doing great. Because I think one of the things about this season that I personally love so much is Abby's finally sort of taking control of her life for her. Like, she's always doing things for everyone else and and her family, which is great. But she's you know, making decisions for herself. So I think that she starts the season off in a really, really strong place, even though it's, you know, hard and she's going through some stuff and saying goodbye to things that, you know, weren't working in her life and moving forward. So I think that she's, there goes your light. There goes <laughs> my back. light. Back. It's yeah. back she's, for now. She's, she's in, a, in a good place, I think. Okay, how, how long does it take for us to get through kind of what happened with Trace? Because I know it's told in flashback, but, you know, did we get all the information right up front or does it kind of play out for a little bit? Um, I think we kind of, we kind of get into it right away. And, and I, I hope that the fans and the audience are going to understand sort of why they went their separate ways. And I certainly feel like it really honored Abby as a person and like in her journey of coming home and, you know, all the things that she's found important and you know moving on and yeah I think I think everyone's gonna be happy with sort of where she's at. Um, we hear about Evan Kincaid in the first episode we don't meet him right off the bat but Robert what what was your impression of this guy because the, the showrunner told me he called him kind of like a Tony Stark kind of guy would do you, do you see it that way? You know I think spiritually he's a he's a golden retriever with a trust fund he's a very enthusiastic curious excitable guy um so it's it's it, there's there's some tony stark to him mostly in the bank account but uh there's a lot of playfulness to evan as well tell me about shooting your first scenes together um because Fief also oh sorry are you still <laughs> Fief also told me that there was kind of a hepburn and tracy thing happening between you guys i don't know if that's accurate what do you think yeah there's um i Fief did such a great job writing this character evan and the relationship between Abby and Evan is just it's so fun and kind of cantankerous, but sweet at the same time. It's, it's, uh, it's been really fun to explore their, their relationship <laughs> with this dumb dumb. Yeah. <laughs> Nicest name she's called me in the entire time we've been shooting, by the way, is dumb dumb. Ro Robert, how much do we know about Evan as far as his backstory? Like, we know he's a billionaire, but is he self made or is it more a family business? What's his backstory a little bit? Uh, we do come to find out that that he is entirely self-made and that he he did not grow up wealthy. He just, he, you know, he made a lot of good decisions kind of early on, a lot of good investments. And so he's, you know, and he's, like I said, he has a, a lot of natural curiosity. So his, his interests have kind of been all over the map, but he's found great success. But yeah, it was, nothing was handed to him. You know, we come to, come to find out he, he came from like, you know, a single parent home and you know didn't have a whole lot of privilege growing up or benefits but you know managed to sort of build himself up into this guy that we meet when he comes to chesapeake shores okay and you guys are will be on the cover of tv guide magazine with your friend treat williams um how, how does that feel to be on the cover again for you robert you were just on uh last winter just another cover guys Darn, we're gonna do this one <laughs> But it's, a, it's really, it's the first one for the show, too. We haven't done a Chesapeake Shores cover at all. So that's a big deal for you, Megan, I'm guessing. I'm really excited for people to sort of see this sort of new energy that we have this year. I think it's going to be really fun. And, and yeah, I just, I think it's, I think it's a good time to do it. I'm excited. Very excited. Okay. And everyone else is, too. Make sure to watch the new season of Chesapeake Shores when it premieres August 15th on the Hallmark Channel.